What's up guys, it's Fixated Space from Official Tev and what I'm going to do today for you guys is a new game called The Mighty Quest of Epic Loot and I'm going to hopefully try and get into this game as much as possible. It is at beta stage at the moment I believe so it's only closed beta at the moment but I actually got a key for it through an email so you know lucky me. So I hope you enjoy the video guys. Right so here we go guys, the first ever raid on The Mighty Loot. Mighty Loot? It's not even called Mighty Loot. The Mighty Quest Mighty Quest of Epic Loot. There you go. It's a bit of a mouthful. And yeah, it's actually made by Ubisoft of all bloody game makers. Let's kill these motherfucking chickens. Chain Helm. Alright, let's have a gander on that. Oh, and a Garnet Blade. Now how do we How do we actually equip that? Got some gold. Uh You know I don't Oh what's this? Inventory coming soon. Coming soon. Okay, I'm just going to take it as this is a tutorial stage and we can't actually do much right now. What the hell? It's a friggin' gerbil. Can I attack it? No, I just think it's a trap. Well, there you go. Oh, yeah. Bag of bones. One life source. Ah, oh, we're getting some epic loot now. Unfortunately, I can't wear it and I'm still butt naked with a... See that door? Left click it to... Hold on, hold on. What's this way then? Oh, there wasn't anything this way. Ah, okay. You gotta break it down. Now that is one quick raid. Copper ring. Time to leave. Get out of the castle by clicking the stairs. Alright, so again. Yeah, so this game does look particularly different to games that I've played before. And uh, my, my, look at you. You handled that castle like a real professional castle handler. Yeah, I don't really want to read that. That's to teach you how to dress yourself, aren't I? Ah, here we go. Come outside with me, yes. Check it out. Oh. Oh, I can't pronounce the friggin' name. Opulent, op, opulentia, <clears throat> opulentia. If you stick around with me, all this could be yours for now. Though, let's focus on getting you dressed. Yeah, please. So, yeah, guys, the people that you see in the background. Oh, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Here. So, this is the first game I've ever played with a, a warrior type, unless he's a paladin. Um, he just came across as a warrior to me, but yeah, he, the first one that ever uses mana instead of like rage or things like that. And he's got a torch in his head. Don't ask me why. Uh, we're going to need to beef up your skill set and a little bit more, a little bit before we up the anti on your looting though. Right, okay. Teach that skill here, blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. You should be the one paying me, right? You're the one paying me. Lol. Skills. Awesome. So we got we got ch cleave, charge, fire weapon, and lashing flames. Uh, so obviously, I think we have to pick this one first. Do I drag that into there? Is this a quick. Quit skills by clicking on the icon and dragging it into an empty slot at the bottom. The skills assigned to the first slot can be triggered by... Ah, oh, okay, here. Yeah, derp. Awesome! I've been shopping your name around town. Blah, 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 blah. Score your... Oh, castle of my own. Yeah, that would do. Yeah, so as I was saying, the different castles in the sky is actually super, super hard castle. Are you joking? I'm just gonna get one shot right now. Maybe not. Chain armor. Can't actually use inventory in game, but never mind. So let's mine this trap here right now. Uh, yeah, so just like Diablo 3, if you guys haven't played Diablo 3, uh, if you use your right click, it uses the ability. Just like that. How awesome was that? Crystal Blade. Now that does sound pretty awesome. Right, so yeah, the other castles in the sky 
are actually real life people. Oh yeah! Longsword. Now obviously the longswords are obviously the heavier types, the two-handers. Uh, that's a trap. But what's that up there? Ah, oh, that's next room. But yeah, the game does look totally different from other games that I've played. Grab that gold. What was that? That was health. That is a health orb, I believe. Kind of like Diablo 3. I want to kill everything. We've got a chain helm. Although I've already got one. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Quickly run around this. One shot! Alright, maybe two shots then. Get that gold. Derp! <laughs> Super hard steward. War axe. Derp one. Lol. You're no match for my legendary skills. Cleave, bitch, cleave. You just got owned. Max XP reached. Okay. Maybe you can only earn a certain amount of XP during a castle. Give me all the gold. Life source. Life source. Wouldn't <laughs> It's up there. Eh, I don't know. Or should I say, you did it, homeowner. Oh, I think I did. Ah, okay. Welcome to, uh, I mean, your castle. This is it. Your fortress, your home. Your ticket to immortality. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Thick wrapper. Now, I believe you can actually, like, put down traps and stuff. Uh, this is your castle heart, it's really important. It's a source of your home's general air bonus. Of course. Main power supplier. Here's your gold storage, your personal favourite. This is where you'll store all the shiny loot you collect. When you max out the storage capacity, you can upgrade it so it'll hold more. Awesome. This is your life. Ah, here we go. Life force storage, where you'll keep the juice you'll need to build things. It's up. Upgraded all two. Okay. So, yeah. Show me that you've learned something to build yourself a hero trainer. Okay. Ah, okay. So, yeah. This is a little bit more extensive than I thought. This is your architect's office where you'll find all machinery and rooms for your castle. First, click on the building to see the available choices. Click the construct button. Ah, here we go. Hero trainer. To install the hero trainer, drag it onto an available alk alk. Oh, okay. You mean here? Oh yeah. These workers are certainly taking their sweet time. I'm going to give them an extra financial incentive so they will go faster. Nice one, buddy. That would sort me out. And I wonder if that's gems you do it with. It sure is. And luckily, well, I have 1,547 of those. Uh, wait, now that that construction is finished, click on the machinery again to see all its basic functionalities. Level up. To level up your hero, click level up hero button. You've actually got to level up your... S oh my god. So once... So you're... Once you've actually got the experience to level up, you won't ding straight away. Uh, what's this? Do you want to equip your new skills? Okay, why not? It's your jabber there. Look, you can jab someone with that. Awesome stuff. Possibly bristling with strength. Thank you very much. Next order, our business is to make sure that the flow of gold into our, I mean your... Yeah, you need to stop doing that, mate. And there's no better way than you can make your own. Yeah. Well, awesome. Gold bars can be purchased in the architect's office and can be placed anywhere in your castle. Okay. 
gold mines. Gold mine. Ah, here we go. Ah, so life, life source is a currency. Can I, can I, can I sort of like drag the screen? As I, yeah, there you go. Nah, that's better. I can zoom in and stuff. Ah, okay, so I can put this down anywhere I want. Okay, I'll take it as that. The money train has left the station. Ah, okay. Kind of like uh, collecting resources and stuff. Hear me, hear me. Prepare your ear holes for the following message from my lord and master, the god of goo. <laughs> and the, the king of Karad. Oh, wow. This game really does, like, bring some comedy to it. A hero as weak as prepared over there. Blah, 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 blah. Let's kept the chit chat here. Right under his skin, and that's a very pleasant place to be. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get you geared up. Hell yeah. The potion brewery and blacksmith can be found in the architect's office. Build one of each, and then I'll tell you more. Right, okay. Construct. Can I put that? Do I put that? At? Yeah, I'll put that in there. That's going to finish in five seconds, so it's not really worth me. Uh, spending my emeralds when I can just wait five seconds if you see what I mean uh, brew potions well of course we want minor health or am I maxed out from holding capacity ah okay let's actually equip some stuff right so that does Four to six physical damage and takes one point. Yeah, so obviously I'll wield that for a minute, but now that does look sexy. There might be a better one. It doesn't look like it so far. We got an axe. Um, let's have a look what the axe looks like. Axe does look pretty brutal. I'll be fair, but then again, so is this sword. Wear the ring straight away because we haven't got one. Uh, the gauntlets we'll have to wear. Is there no way to see, like, if it's stronger than what you're wearing? Yeah, let's wear that. Yeah. Oh, uh, if equipped, yeah. I'll minus, like, my stats. Okay. That's really helpful. Right, well, I can probably sell the rest of that now. Drag here to sell items. I'm dragging here to sell items. Okay, that won't seem to work, so... Oh god! What the hell? Shift! What's this? Shift? Shift click to sell. Is that a <laughs> Oh god no, so I'm just gonna leave that there for a moment, but uh let's um for some reason I can't brew. Now, like I said, is that because I'm full or I don't know, but I'm gonna quickly make this blacksmith, like you said. Construct by a blacksmith. Whack that right there. And yeah, so I'm going to probably leave this one here, guys. So I'm going to sort of like get into the whole construction side of it first before I record again and then get into the, the actual castles to uh, raid. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the first part of the Mighty Quest of Epic Loot, and I'll catch you in the next video.